how I view any fandom, it's like a double-edged sword. On one hand, the passion and sharing of different forms of expression, making art of Deku doing a dynamic pose or action, making a wholesome comic with the inkling from Splatoon, forming an opinion about the new Kirby game for a video, creating an original piece of music for Animal Crossing, and so on. It can show someone how great this show, anime, video game, or whatever it is that is not from the creator and tell people what you love. Or remind me how great a show or how fun a game is. On the other hand, it can show how bad some people can be, the cringe, people being attacked, are they drawing certain part of a character's body and having them do well not very wholesome content for the record the reason why i know about the horny stuff is because people on the internet make jokes about it people on live streams have made them people making a kid have done it and so on even if I didn't want to know about it, the internet will always remind me about it in some way. A little background on me. I'm 28. I like many different forms of entertainment media from game, anime, music, animation, and more. While I can love something like Splatoon 3, however, that doesn't mean I don't have anything bad to say about the game. I'm like this with everything in the entertainment media. I have my own opinion and criticism, while also respectfully understanding other people and where they are coming from. I don't attack people for not agreeing with me on something about a game. Not everyone thinks the same and that's good. A fan or fandom is created around a game, anime, TV show, cartoon, YouTuber, or anything in the entertainment media. In fandom, you find many different types of people. The good and normal, people who love something but have an opinion or feedback. People who casually like something but are not deep in the fandom. The fans who argue about pointless things like who the bad girl or the tiresome arguing between the new fan and the old one, and of course, the toxic one. I'm sure people have heard that My Little Pony, Avatar, Overwatch, Call of Duty, Smash Brothers, Five Nights at Freddy's, Minecraft, Star Wars, and much more are toxic. I'm not going over all the stories people have talked about to death. We all heard about the Rick and Morty fandom holding riot outside McDonald's and more. And with darker or horrible stuff that had happened. Here's the thing. Not everyone in a fandom is a problem or does questionable things. You can find both good and bad people within all fandoms. All fandoms have some type of problem. Not everyone is a whiny kid or an adult with anger issues. Not everyone who play games from the team of From Software are gatekeeping new players. Not everyone in the furry fandom is horny or into fetishes. But horniness is a problem in every fandom. Some people just like anamorphic animals and do nothing weird. When I hear something about a fandom, it always the bad apple more than anything, and these people are louder than the good one. A fan or a fandom does not represent the content or the creator of the content. However, if the creator of the content is toxic, annoying, or a terrible person, that's a problem too. I'm perfectly okay with an opinion and criticism. Because no matter how good you think a game, a piece of music, 
anime or whatever it had issued. And people are allowed to have an opinion not to say it can't be a bad take. Because we all do that at some point and can learn from it. Some people criticized main Pokemon games for easy difficulty, animation, and graphics, which is fair. Not liking a weapon kit or level in Flatoon 3 is perfectly okay with me. I have some level and weapon kit I don't like in the game too. However, some people can't handle criticism. And Joe too, if it's about them or something they love. It doesn't even have to be criticism. You can troll someone. I mean, right now, you can go on Twitter or Reddit and say Call of Duty is the worst game series of all time. And you would have COD fans defending the game and calling this person all kinds of names to put things lightly. By doing this, you're just feeding a troll and that's what the troll wants. If someone would say that about something I love, I ignore them and go about my day, because I know this person is trolling. If you want me to listen to an opinion about a game or anime, you should do it respectfully. Remember, it's okay to like something, but don't take it too far. As for me, I can like something even with a toxic fandom. I just avoid toxic people or keep it to myself most of the time. However, toxic people and their mindset can go outside of entertainment media. Not going to say more about that. Even if you meet good people and have formed a bond over something, that doesn't mean the fandom is not toxic anymore. You just found your piece of heaven or the good apple. If it wasn't for the good side of the fandom or fan, I would have never played Undertale, Amori, and so on. Or be reminded how much I love something. If you don't want to play a game, watch an anime, and so on because of the fandom, you are doing yourself a disservice. And that means you can't like any form of content whatsoever. That's not a good way to enjoy content. Like something because you like it, not what other people say or because of the fandom. But before I go, I have one more thing to say. All of your waifus are garbage because none of them are real. Good night, everyone.